like day four of the trip. Um, having a good day. Nice little ride. I want to say thanks to everybody that is here. Um, as you can tell, we've got a huge group. There's two guys behind me. We've got Ike and two stragglers that don't vlog. Um, let's see, Alex, uh, CBRXX, Suburban Rider, Lark Zero, I'm trying to think of who else. Um, it's Fud in front of me, Seeking Soul, uh, Ride Tech's behind me, Wilson Rider's behind me, Ambush is up there, uh, Cronus is up there. I think that's everybody. Twin Cult's on the back of Ike's bike. And then Murph Gal and one of her friends are riding in uh, Murph's car. So I don't really know how many people I just named. I'm pretty sure I got everybody. If I didn't, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll fix that. Oh, Sierra Inc. That's right. I want to thank all these guys for showing up, turning our third annual event into a, a hell of a lot of fun. We didn't do a whole lot of riding on Tuesday. We went to... Uh, buy some parts for somebody who went down on the dragon uh, didn't get hurt at all it just kind of broke some some things broke his tail light um, yesterday most of the group went to Maggie Valley to go back to the wheels of time museum I stayed behind to uh, take Murph's friend out for a couple of rides up and down the dragon and down uh, highway 28 which is called the hellbender had a fantastic time doing that and actually ended up riding uh, the dragon harder two up than I did last year by myself um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to film it hopefully everything works out okay whoa let's try not to run off the damn road from talking too much I'm sure bright is behind me wondering what the fuck's going on uh, I want to thank my parents, my mom especially, for letting us use her car. We had my uh, truck loaded up with two bikes and from College Station to Houston, which is like 105 miles from one house to the other, um, I used over half a tank of gas. It literally was getting about eight miles to the gallon. So that that's just not economically feasible to make it all the way you know 1200 miles at nine miles to the gallon is not cheap in any way shape or form so mom let us use her car again and made life a lot better just it, it can actually do the speed limit on the freeway with two bikes in that trailer and still get 15 16 miles to the gallon uh, Wilson has improved a lot. I got to give him credit. He has decided that he will now lean, just fucking lean the bike more. Um, in fact, I kind of screwed up. Yesterday, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a weird ass draft. I told him that I could hang with him. If he, he rode the dragon as hard as he could, I said, I will hang with you to, uh, and be right on your ass the whole way. Last year, I could have done that if I had the skills that I've got now. Uh, I was with him for about two or three miles, and then it was game over. He was he wasn't terribly far ahead of me, but uh, he was far enough. It just it, it was pretty fucking cool. Um, we, were, we had all decided, well, most of us had decided we were probably going to be making fun of Lark Zero for uh, riding a scooter out here. That boy can just about drag a knee on that thing. And they don't have roads like this up there. I don't know where he learned how to ride like that. It's it's ridiculous. But uh, he's he's definitely doing it to it. Old Brightex bought himself a new bike. He's got a Triumph Tiger. I think it's a 1050. And... He bought it like Friday, spent the weekend breaking it in, put 900 miles on it by Tuesday, and is just throwing that bike up and down the Dragon at pretty impressive pace. 
We've been sitting out. We had a barbecue last night. Murph Gal brought all the food. I brought the grill. Seasoned up the patties. Wilson got the grill going while me and uh, Mandy were out with some of the other guys were out uh, riding up and down the dragon. And then Brightex actually did the cooking. So that was cool. And everybody enjoyed that one. It's just, it's been a good time, you know? And anybody who said that, oh, it's too far, well, let me tell you what. Yeah, Brightex came in from fucking Australia. Although he's not going back to Australia, I don't think. Uh, this is worth every ounce of what you pay to get here. All the pain that you would go through if you were to ride a, a thousand miles to get here. In fact, I think over half the people that came most likely uh, just rode in. You know, there aren't too many trailers in the lot. Just some of us that had to go, you know, a thousand plus to get here. There's, there's no better place to do it. We've got miles and miles and miles of windy roads, sweepers and... Uh, Sweepers and uh, switchbacks and just the whole nine yards. There's places where you can get a nice 90 mile an hour corner and be pushing the limits. And there's places where 10 miles an hour just about is pushing the limits. It's It's been a great time. And we're, we're headed over to uh, Gatlinburg tomorrow, so I'm not 100% sure just how much riding is going to get done tomorrow. Although I don't really see why we couldn't do a fair bit. But, uh, the girls are leaving. That's going to suck. They're kind of the life of the party sometimes. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. 